Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. Los Angeles Archbishop Jose Gomez was elected president of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops on Tuesday, and Detroit Archbishop Alan Vigneron was elected vice president for a term of three years. Archbishop Gomez succeeds Cardinal Daniel Nicholas DiNardo, and he said he entrusts the next three years to the maternal care of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Gomez was born in Monterrey, Mexico, and was ordained a priest of Opus Dei in 1978 by Cardinal Franz Koenig. He has been serving as the Archbishop of Los Angeles since 2011. Gomez is the first Latino leader of the United States Bishops' Conference and is considered a strong defender of traditional moral values, religious freedom, and immigrant rights. Speaking on the opening day of the USCCB's General Assembly in Baltimore, Los Angeles Auxiliary Bishop Robert Barron stressed the need to evangelize unaffiliated people. He suggested a five-step strategy to re-energize and reconnect with the young people who are religiously unaffiliated. Bishop Barron said that for a long period of time, our faith has not been properly articulated to young people through catechesis and he explained the importance of promoting the Catholic faith through social media. Bishop Barron said that the bishop should invest time and money to promote social media evangelization. Pope Francis strongly condemned the rise in anti-Semitism in different parts of the world during his weekly general audience at St. Peter's Square on Wednesday. The Pope said that the Jewish people have historically suffered much, and especially during the last century. He said that the practice of persecuting the Jews has begun again and noted that even today there is no religious freedom for Jews in some countries. In recent years, there has been an increase in the number of attacks on the Jewish people across Europe, especially in Germany, the Netherlands, and Belgium. Speaking at the Second International UCAT Congress of Young Catholics, Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines Archbishop Gabriel Cachia urged young people to make the most of their talents and not just hiding them, especially by serving those in need. The event was organized by UCAT Philippines and the Archdiocese of Haro. Archbishop Cachia celebrated the inaugural mass and reminded more than 1,200 participants that life has meaning when given with love to others. He stressed that life has value when gifts are shared with others and that a life lived selfishly is useless. Wisconsin will celebrate the week of Thanksgiving as National Bible Week. This overwhelmingly supported resolution states that Bible reading has been a great encouragement and comfort for many people throughout our state's history and has contributed to the molding of the spiritual, moral, and social fiber of our citizenry. The National Bible Week sponsor, Representative Paul Tittle, said the Bible plays a significant role even in other religions, such as Judaism, and a host of popular expressions stem from it. Former U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared the first National Bible Week in 1941. U.S. District Judge Paul Engelmeyer has overturned Trump administration's conscience protection rule. The rule was to go into effect on November 22nd and intended to protect medical professionals who did not want to engage in abortions or other activities that violated their religious beliefs. Stephanie Taub of First Liberty Institutes said the decision leaves healthcare professionals across America vulnerable to being forced to perform, facilitate, or refer procedures that violate their conscience. Politicians and pro-life activists criticize the district court judge's decision. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.